This is a giant furnace and inside of it is a bedrock prison which I am going to try to escape. I spawned in a small room with a hopper and a furnace covered in amethyst buds. I broke the amethyst buds and I got 4 amethyst shards. There is an entrance to a room in the roof and another room beside me through a window. I used the ice to swim through the window into the other room and I picked up 2 string and 2 tripwire hooks. I looked around and found a dropper with oak stairs and 2 honeycombs inside of it. I also noticed a hopper at the top of the room so I built up and inside of it was glowstone dust. I could see sand on top of the hopper so I mined it and the sand fell down. I collected all the blocks in the room and went back to the main room. I was now able to climb through the hole in the roof and through the hole I found a chest with a netherite axe and a blaze rod. I mined the chest and built up to this area with an iron door. There was another room above this and I was able to jump and get a gold ingot from the furnace. There was also a brewing stand in this room and I jumped and grabbed nether wart from it as well. At this point I didn't know how to get into that room so I went back to the other room. I saw two different holes in the roof so I decided to try to build into those. I crafted candles and an amethyst block which just barely gives me enough blocks to make it to the first room. In this room there is a dispenser with jump boost pots, gunpowder, and a fermented spider eye inside it. I also could see another hole in the roof and a hole in the floor with a villager standing on a pressure plate. I used my blocks to build up to the other room and I found a shulker box with 3 glass bottles in it. So I collected the shulker box and all my other blocks and I headed back to the room with the iron door. I was considering breaking the iron door but then I realized the chest I had was actually a trap chest so I could use it to power the door. In this room there was a furnace, a melon, and a brewing stand so I broke the melon and realized I probably had to make a harming potion to throw at the villager. I had no idea how to make a harming potion but I guessed and I managed to get it. I ended up using the harming potion on the villager and it didn't die which I thought was a problem. I decided to restart the run because I thought I messed it up by only using one harming potion but it turns out I only needed one anyway. Hitting the villager with the potion gave me a shulker box and I used that shulker box plus the jump boost to climb up to the next room. In this room I found a chest with 2 cobwebs, 4 sticks, and 1 iron ingot. There was a target on the wall and a piece of redstone beside it. There was also another room on my right with water across from it and a hole that went pretty far down below me. I decided to just drop down and I saw a little hole in the left as well as another drop even further down. I tried to jump into the hole but I messed up and fell all the way down. I found a few note blocks on the wall and when I clicked them a secret door opened. I found a feather on the wall, an empty dispenser, and a pumpkin on the roof. I broke the pumpkin and found there was another room above this one. I mined the note blocks and I found a few pistons behind them so I mined those and also mined a piston and a pressure plate in the hole I missed the jump to. I used these blocks to build up through the hole in the pumpkin room and found two raw iron blocks leading to an entrance. I had no way to climb up these blocks so I decided to head back to the main room. I climbed up to where the water was and realized I could place my cobwebs in it to make string. So I went back to where the target was and had a choice of crafting a fishing rod or a crossbow. Since I had no arrows I chose the fishing rod which ended up being a mistake. It turns out there was supposed to be flint in the chest in this part of the map but it wasn't there. So I had to restart again and made my way back to the room. This time I had a slightly different strategy. I had used a few less blocks in the room before giving me more blocks to work with. I also used the blocks to make the water flow all the way down so I didn't have to build back up to the main room. Once I was done that I continued like before but this time I made a crossbow instead. I shot the target and heard a dispenser in the other room. So I collected my stuff and went to find the dispenser. I found the dispenser in the pumpkin room and it contained shears. Next I built up through the hole in the roof back to the room with the raw iron blocks. I was able to build up to the entrance using the 3 blocks in my inventory and found 4 blocks of iron and a door. There was also a hole in the roof which went to another room. So I broke the door and went back out the room. I collected my blocks and used the door to build back up to the room so I could grab a sticky piston. I brought the sticky piston because I had a wooden pressure plate and I could use the piston to rearrange the iron blocks. So I rearranged the blocks into the shape of an iron golem and then I left the room and grabbed my pumpkin and placed it on the head to spawn the iron golem. I killed the iron golem and it dropped 3 iron ingots which I was now able to use to craft a bucket. So I crafted a bucket and then I ran back to the main room with the water and filled my bucket with water. I was now able to climb back into the golem room with the bucket and then I climbed through the hole in the roof where there was a button which teleported me to a new room. I lost all of my items and I was in a room with a door and a dispenser. I broke the door and found an egg and a piece of string in the dispenser. I then used the door to climb up the wall to another room. This room had a piece of sand with a sea pickle on top of it and a floating fence gate. I rearranged these blocks so I could climb the next wall to another room. This time there was two dispensers, a hopper, a redstone comparator, and an iron trap door. The dispensers had a health pot and a stick in them and I activated the comparator with the hopper which activated the iron trap door so I could climb the next wall. 
In the next room, there was a composter, a beehive, and a pumpkin. I noticed the beehive had honey in it, so I drank the health pot so I could collect the honey. I then broke the pumpkin and made pumpkin pie, which I used to make bone meal in the composter. The reason I made the bone meal was because there was a moss block over the next wall which could be used to make more moss blocks with the bone meal. I used three moss blocks to climb in a new room with a ton of stuff in it. There was a piston, a slime block, a hay bale, a comparator, and an observer. The next room was too high for me to reach so I used the piston and slime block to make a launch pad powered by the observer. When I got up I found a dispenser with six blaze rods and a slime block which I broke. There was also a target in the wall with an unlit redstone lamp above it. There was another room on the left so I used my blocks to climb up. There was an iron door maze on the other side and when I crossed it I found a hopper with a crafting table, a stick, and a piece of string. There was another room on the right so I climbed up there and found another room with lava and a cobblestone wall. I checked the lava and there was nothing under it so I went back to the main room and figured out how to craft more blocks. It turns out I didn't need the blocks though and I was able to get over the wall by setting myself on fire and jumping. I made it over the wall and found a furnace with a popped chorus fruit inside of it and I made end rods so I could climb another wall. Over the wall there was a big room with a brewing stand, a hopper, and a donkey behind some fences. I could also see a half full cauldron and when I dropped down I found 3 furnaces containing 4 popped chorus fruit, 9 kelp, and 2 raw iron. The donkey had a backpack with 1 stick and 1 string inside of it and the hopper contained 1 nether wart. I saw a dispenser in the roof and I was unable to reach it so I killed the donkey for its chest but the dispenser was still out of my reach. I then used some weird recipes to craft 8 purple slabs and I went back to the other room with the target. I crafted a fishing rod which I was able to use to hit the target and when I hit it nothing happened in this room. So I went back to the other room and now there was lava falling from the roof. I had everything to make a fire resistance potion so I used a few blocks to parkour to the brewing stand and made the potion. I drank it and I climbed the lava where I took the bucket and filled it with the lava from the dispenser. I then broke my blocks and used purple slabs instead since I could break the blocks I used before and then I parkoured to the next room. There was a staircase which led down to a room with a 3 block high wall that had a strider on top of it. I used my saddle from earlier to climb onto the strider and I fell into another room. There was a furnace and 3 clay blocks in this room but before I did anything I went back to kill the strider because it dropped string. Unfortunately I had to sacrifice a purple slab to get the items out of the hole but I figured it would be worth it. At this point I realized I had a few seconds left on my fire resistance so I collected the clay and climbed up using the lava. There was a hopper up here with another bucket inside it and a hole with an entrance to a room above it. I saw nothing in this hole so I decided to just skip it and I made it to a different room where I got two tripwire hooks. There was another drop further down where I found a maze on my left and cobwebs on the right. I went through the maze where I found a hidden dropper with another bucket, 13 redstone, and a block of TNT. I also found another room which I had to build up to but I decided to go back and use the TNT to break the cobwebs first because I could use the string to make more blocks. I built up to the iron door room and this part made zero sense to me so I did some crazy stuff which was definitely not from the tutorial and I made it to the next room. In this room there was a hopper with two glowstone blocks and an egg, and then I used this hopper to build up to another room without losing too many blocks. Now I was in a room with a cow for some reason and I decided to just craft wool and build out to the next room. This room was actually the final room and I found a ladder which was the exit to this prison. 